question has to be uh, despite the win personally it was a good day for you but reflecting back I mean right now maybe you are not thinking so much about it as part of your career but reflecting back okay from your uh, the way you, the when you started your career in 99-2000 up to now the journey has been quite uh, a journey yeah quite a journey I think uh, there's been a lo obviously when you have a long career it's bound to be a lot of ups and downs but uh, I've enjoyed uh, batting I've always did and uh, uh, especially when uh, the team requires me to stand up and get runs. One thing has always been constant is the burden that I have carried all through my career. I, I, I felt that somewhere if I had few more uh, batters to support me, maybe I would have, uh, my game would have been much, much better than what it is or what it was. And uh, even coming into the World Cup, considering how the team has been performing in the last two years, uh, I believe that uh, it, it was the right time for me to uh, elevate my, uh, my own personal uh, batting standards into the tournament. But again, it has come back to the same phase where uh, me being in the middle gives a lot of confidence for the other batters. And, the, and it keeps the dressing room more confident. So... Uh, I, I, I've enjoyed my uh, long career, but uh, also at the same time, if really I have to introspect, I think I probably because of the responsibility, I'm not really able to enhance my batting as much as I would want to. Again, um, you look at the people you've passed by Charlotte Edwards and uh, Meg Lanning in uh, just 25 is... Uh, probably by the end of uh, her career she'll break all records. Is it A, an advantage for them playing in strong teams and B, they've won uh, world titles. Is that something you feel despite we having highest run scorer, highest wicket taker, it's something that's missing from India? Well, uh, the first point I, I do uh, go with it that, you know, uh, playing for a stronger side where you have more players to stand up and win games for you. It gives you that freedom to uh, play your shots and you don't really have to think about what happens if you, if you get out. It's never been that, you know, I would, uh, none of the batters would definitely would want to get out. But there are times when you want to take a certain risk, calculated risk. What if you get out? It's always in, been back of my mind all through my career because... Uh, I personally felt that you know there there are times when you when I can really push it to a next level, but I've never got that opportunity with the teams that have played. I've always uh, felt that you know I lacked three four batters or three four players in my squad who could stand up when you know when I'm not able to get runs or when just in case if trying something and if 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 the team loses my wicket. And I, I think that is uh, that is what a plus for Meg Lenning, I believe, now is because they really have a very strong batting lineup, and uh, uh, the way the openers have given them a start, and uh, the way the, uh, obviously I will not uh, take away any credit that she's a world class batsman and she's played some amazing strokes. But again, to uh, to uh, repeat the same kind of innings time and again, you really have to have a backup. That with that kind of a positivity only you can get into and score those runs. Whereas if, if you look at the Indian uh, uh, matches from the beginning, from after the England uh, match, we've not, our uh, top order has not really exploded as much as I would have expected from the openers to uh, number four, number five, number six. It's always been one or two from the six batters that we've feeded into the 11 that has uh, scored runs. So it, it is that, you know, it's always played on my mind. But again, uh, I think when you represent at this level, you need to take everything in consideration and uh, get your scores. And uh, the second part about uh, Australia, England having won world titles, but for India, it's still we're still searching for the first one. See, uh, uh, I believe that England, all, the way they've made a comeback, and even Australia for that matter, uh, at this level, if you really have aiming for the World Cup, there will be point in the tournament because the tournament is long. There will be a point where the team 
tends to uh, lose a couple of games. So if, if you really are looking to lift the World Cup, you, need, you really need to have a team and the players to make that comebacks because it is important. It's not going to be every day that we are going to win matches because any, every other team is come here to play cricket. So they also want to win the World Cup. And uh, you can't just give away because you lost one game. India has always had that problem that when we are faced with the crunch matches, the the team really doesn't step up, whether it is a T20 World Cup or the One Day World Cups, even during the bilateral series. If it is a very crucial game which decides the uh, series win, we've we've usually faltered in that match. So that is something the the Indian players in general really need to work on because as far as skill is concerned, it is I, I still believe that the girls are talented. It's just a matter of how well they pull themselves up after a defeat is is very important because that's what makes world champions. You spoke about burden. Today's innings was again quite cautious. Was it the burden or uh, the bowling or the? Well, uh, it was uh, it was a burden first, and uh, bowling. Of course, they uh, they are a good side. They've come with a plan. But uh, when I walked in, and uh, I I took some time to get those few runs in the initial uh, innings of mine. Uh, Poonam Rawat did tell me that you know you stay there. She she, uh, she I felt that she she feels confident when I'm around. And uh, if not for myself, at least for a batter who's scoring runs, I need to be around. So, uh, and, and also for a fact that because of that partnership, maybe we, we had uh, uh, a few more runs in the end. But had we lost my wicket, it, the, uh, the whole responsibility would be on the middle order, which has not been performing. So it was for me, I knew the fact that I was, uh, I was taking a, a lot of time in the middle. But... It, it was in, I was in a situation where either I need to forego that of my personal uh, feelings of, ta you know, feeling bad that, you know, I'm taking so many uh, balls to get those runs. But at the same time, that was what the team required me to do, even for the fact that probably as a batter, I wouldn't have done that. Uh, but uh, I'm happy the way uh, the team has uh, come back to scoring 227 runs. Uh, after losing uh, Smriti in the, f in the second over. Um, Meg Lanning there had another great day. Do you think she's the one to break your record? Maybe, because I believe uh, she's got all-round shots. And uh, uh, the way, the form she is in, it's uh, surely another four or five years she should be breaking that record. Um, and looking forward to next game, uh, New Zealand. I think they've also lost today, so it's going to be a shootout pretty much. Um, what approach is the team going to take there? Well, obviously it is a, a decider between uh, India and New Zealand who will uh, get through the semis. It is again going to be uh, important that the team needs to step up because if, if we are going to perform the way we did today, personally I would say that you know it is not enough against the New Zealand side because uh, somewhere we really have to upgrade the way we've battered or especially the bowling unit and uh, fielding department, obviously. Because uh, today the bowling unit didn't seem like they were effective or they were creating some opportunity. It, it, was, it, it didn't seem like, you know, the wicket was on a slower slide. They've just got their shots going. So I think they need to be a little more consistent in the areas that they plan to bowl more often the good balls. There has to be more consistency in that. And um, what does it mean for the team to have the highest ODI scorer and highest ODI wicket taker? What does it mean for all the girls there? Well, it's a team game, so... Uh, well, if if I was a player and I had uh, two players who've got the highest wicket taker and highest uh, score uh, runs, uh, score runs, so I think uh, I would be proud to have them. But at the same time, uh, as a player, I would want to uh, see to it that I support them equally when required because no matter what, individual milestones is good. It gives you a lot of confidence. You feel nice about it. But at the end of the day, it's a team game. If you don't win matches, nobody would want to be on a losing side and, and uh, celebrate the milestones that you achieve. So uh, I would say I'm happy 
very little, but I am quite disappointed uh, over the result. Have you thought much about your longevity, how long you want to remain an international cricketer for? I have not really uh, given it a thought, maybe a year or a couple of years more. You mentioned the uh, team has had difficulty stepping up in current situations. Why do you think that is over a large number of a uh, large amount of time now? Well, we uh, we do have players like Poonam Roth who made a comeback when who's been scoring runs for us. But uh, especially the youngsters like Smriti, Deepti, and uh, uh, you know Veda. These these girls really need to step up to be consistent in their scores because it's good to see uh, when Smithy scored a hundred and ninety odd, but uh, it is equally important that you study because now everywhere you have video analysts, you have your matches televised, so everybody are watching you, watching your game, reading your game. They come with a plan, so uh, the the girls really need to work on their on the personal preparation. And it's not going to be easy, unlike earlier years where, you know, we didn't have video analysis, still we would come with our own preparation. But today it is more uh, clearer for the opponents to, uh, you know, have plans for you. And, uh, of course, Deepti, both of them are young, but uh, I really feel that Veda, Harman, and uh, Shika Pandey, who's been with the team for a while, really need to uh, work on the game and contribute in a way that it uh, complements the team.